One of the many things that we do here at BEM are external upgrades. They make your car look great because it's the first thing people see. Today, the Master's putting on a rear wing for this 2018 EcoBoost 2.3 liter turbo Mustang. Let's watch as he gets it done. So here we are inside the official BEM main booth right here as we watch the Master start laying down the initial coat of paint on the wing. First, we'll lay down a very light coat doing all of what we call a cut it look all of your edges and like that. And once those are done, then you'll go to top coating the other parts of the surface, meaning the very flat surface. So you do the hard area first, then move into your flat area. From there, once this dries, there's a certain amount of dry time for these coats. And then the master will begin laying down his clear coat on top of it while the base is still a bit fat. We're back here at the 2018 EcoBoost Mustang. The Masters just finished working on the rear wing we discussed earlier. Bob, tell us a little bit about what you got going on now. So right now I'm getting ready to uh, drop the spoiler in place for its final fitment and position. And then uh, I'll get it all plumbed up, get the wiring hooked up for it for this third brake light up top here. That's going to be set up as a sequential, which looks absolutely amazing when it's done. So stay tuned for that finished product. So, Bob, when you tell us it's sequential, real quick, what does that mean in terms of the audience understanding what that is? So rather than it just be a single illumination where you step on that brake pedal or turn on the running lights, it actually creates a center strobe effect that starts slowly in the center and works its way out, much like those older first generation Mustangs did. There it is, Bob. Sequential turn signal. So here it is, the 2018 Ego Boost Mustang has the new aftermarket rear spoiler installed. It looks absolutely amazing, but let's talk about it a little bit. Number one, what happened to the front of all your clothing? <laughs> okay. That was, that was wet full, sanding and buffing. I did full wet sanding and polishing on this thing with my DA using the Trivac system and the 3M. Complete four step polishes. I did it by hand, though. Yeah. That's the difference. This Old guy school. did it by hand and somehow made that much of a mess, and I was using all the power tools. You ought to see the car that was sitting next to it. It's terrible. <laughs> How about it, Bob? Came out nice, man. Let's talk about the install itself. How did it go? You were frustrated? Why? So it's a, um, you know, to start, it's an MP Concepts wing. It's a plastic design wing. It's not a fiberglass, it's not a factory style OEM finish, which would be like an ABS composite. This is actually just a full-on four-piece design of plastic components, right? However, you did make it look like glass. Yeah, so, you know, obviously we took this thing out of the box. It comes in an unfinished raw plastic finish. We did have to go through a full base coat, clear coat design on this thing, so it was a full scuffing down. There was, you know, natural mold lines all the way across the back, just where you press and put the plastic together in the mold process from MP. But we took all those lines out. We 320 those all the way down and got them ready for that fresh base coat black. We did just shoot a straight gloss black on here with a clear on top of it, three coats of everything. I did three, but I, for some reason when I say three, I hold up four. You guys will probably start catching that. There's a serious <laughs> disconnect there. I don't know why. But uh, it came out great, man. It looks super wet and the shine, the depth of the clarity in there is beautiful and it does look really good on the car. It does, Well, I really like the end caps that do fly, flow with the, the graphics on the back of the car, which is kind of what we thought it was going to do in the first place. That's right. But one of the things you encountered was the wiring on this car. And for people who are interested in this kit, or kits like it, I think maybe some technical advanced knowledge would help them. 
Yeah, so the wiring was an absolute cluster, right? So what the instructions said versus what the car has, two totally different things. They're not even on the same page. So if you guys are out there and you are do-it-yourselfers trying to do this install, it is very complex when it comes to trusting what you're reading versus what you're working with on a car. It did not match. Now, why did it not match? I don't know. Maybe that was from the instructions and when they were printed versus the newness of the car. That could be one of the options out there, but I'll tell you what. This is fitment from 15 onward of the S550 Mustangs but that wiring code did not line up with anything in the trunk of this car to make it work with the factory sequential taillights and we did have to go ahead and get in a fourth module to get that in but it is installed running lights brake lights everything works exactly like it should and it looks like a freaking champ but when you say the fourth module it was almost like you had a plug and play uh, an aftermarket plug and play assembly that you used for this to make it work is that correct that's right because doing it the way that the instruction said only allowed the right side of the, the uh, lamps to work is that correct? i'm just waiting for my on my cue that i threw out about a minute ago yeah, about that the this lights look great the lights look yes, awesome that the lights there they are how about that there they are there how, about the, how about the brake lights how do they work so it, it took a minute once our, there they are. <laughs> so we are not Bluetoothing this. We actually do have someone in the car, and they're just obviously not listening. Yeah, they're not listening. They're deaf. So, anyways, well, it, this is uh, the uh, plastic wing. There, there are wiring related issues. Why does this look like kit from Night Rider? That's when you turn the key on and off. It does when I sequential run. It does look pretty cool, though. Doesn't no, it? it is a pretty cool setup. So we do love the overall turnout and the quality finish of it. It looks great. The client is going to be blown away with this look when it's done exactly what she wanted. So we can't wait to show this thing to her in the end. And I'm sure our producer will get a nice walk around of it. You can see this gloss shine that came out of it and the end caps as well. That's right. That's it. Till next time.